five-story building that will include nine residential units with commercial space on the first floor. Uh, for the record, the applicant has um, just did a December meeting and we deferred it. Um, we tabled it until this month, so um, if Mr. Jose, I'd like to run Thank you very much. President, and good evening. Dan Toscano, attorney, address located 62 feet, commercial walk, East Boston, Mass, 02110. I represent the uh, the owner of the uh, property located at 124 <coughs> Salem Street, uh, Colin Yip, who I believe should be on his way. Um, unless, I'm here, unless you're in time. All right, so I believe he should, he should be here. I expect him to my immediate left. Uh, we have our architectural team. I think we're Everybody's been introduced, and people know the folks in the neighborhood. Rano, who's my Sheila, and Deanna here, um, who, the architectural team on the project. So we've been over this. Um, I'm going to point this in your angle so we can get a view of it so we know. So you're looking at the back of this is Salem Street, where the old Sheldon building is. This is the corner where Dino's is. So here's our empty parking lot here. So the plans are to construct. The plans are to construct. Right now, it's an empty parking lot. And Mr. Yip, oh, here he is, Colin Yip, the owner of the property, um, bought the property and he bought the building next to it, which is the corner of Baldwin Place. So he owns the empty lot in the building here. So we have plans to construct a 55-foot building. And as the architectural team will go over, it's slightly below 55 feet. I think it's like 53 something or 54, 54. So. So 55 foot building at nine residential units um, in commercial spot on the first floor, which will be zoned for restaurant use. Um, I will go over some of the issues that I've heard uh, about what we've done in the past over the last several months working with the abutters, and then the architectural team will take you through the plans and then we'll be more than happy to answer some questions um, go over it. So what we've done, and I think what this board has heard, we, we've done a tremendous amount of community outreach. We, we reached out to all our abutters in the particular area, especially all the owners of the properties within, um, right across the street, direct abutters within Baldwin Place, within Noise Place. Um, the most important part of that was mostly affected was one Noise Place, which is John Corey. John Corey has four south side facing windows that will be adversely affected by this project because we would be blocking the windows. Um, the architectural team along with Colin met with Mr. Corey on a number of occasions and were able to reach an agreement and I submitted a letter to the president uh, and to the board's records that it's a letter of support from John Corey um, that he would love to see this uh, property develop and Mr. Uh, uh, we'll just call him Colin because I no need to be too formal and Colin has worked out an agreement with him how uh, we're going to work out with the windows. So as you see from the letter, John Corey does support the project. As I said, uh, when we, the, when the architectural team put together these plans, try to look at what the North Bend is, is about. How, how are we going to, what residential units? So we, we put together this four studio apartments, which there's four studio apartments on the second and third floor, and two, two on each side. On the fourth and fifth floor, you have one bedroom duplex. So the fourth and fifth floor is one bedroom duplex on each side. The back of the building, you have on the second and third floor, two two bedroom units. Um, and then on the third and fourth, I mean on the fourth and fifth floor, I'm sorry, on the fourth and fifth floor, you have a duplex unit that probably three plus bedrooms, over 600 square feet. So looking at the architectural plan, what we envision is what's here in the neighborhood. We have a lot of young professionals here in the neighborhood. We try to cater to some of the young professionals, try to cater to the, the, the younger families here in the neighborhood. Um, and we also try to add a unit or two in the back units, try to some larger families with, with maybe two children, with maybe three children that could possibly uh, uh, purchase one of the condominium units. Um, the first floor, and you know, when we discussed the first floor, the original plans, and we can go through if, if the, the board wants what the original plans were and all the concessions we've made and all the uh, changes we made to the project, but that will be entirely up to you. I know you've got a full agenda tonight. 
The first floor will be commercial use. Um, the original plan was to have some parking, because as of right now, there's some parking spot. We eliminated the parking and made it an entire commercial space and the front door, which will be located um, on the first floor. And the, the reason for that is just a, a, a number of reasons why we wanted to make the first floor um, continuous. I think we have one right photo, which is a very nice photo that Can shows the light of the uh, first yeah. floor. Oh, it's this here. So you can see the new design of the, the first floor, how the streetscape is. It, and it just shows a continuous uh, glass area there, and it's indented a couple of feet, so and, and the architect, uh, Frano, will go over to how the design was, and there's the front door. And it just seemed to flow a little bit better than having commercial space, a garage door, and then an, an open door. Um, so and that seemed to work a little bit better. And as we went out there the other night after our meeting before the, the residents association, we're looking around, a little dock in that area. And, and I know George is here from Monica's and you can see what uh, a great job Monica's and when, you, when you're looking at it, you see the Monica's has the, the nice tall glass windows. He's got the tan lighting. It, it just lights up so nice. And I think what this here will complement Monica's in that area, that block, so well without all the busyness of the, the garage door and, and the, the front door and the commercial space. The other issue that we took into serious consideration that we brought up with, with a number of residents is public safety issue of, it's a busy sidewalk. There is a curb cut there, it's a busy sidewalk. We would have to put some type of beeping noise um, there if cars are coming in and out, um, whether, who knows what time, some noise there. Possibly, there's a lot of kids that walk by, a lot of elderly, families, what's on. And you just had to be very careful about going in and out of that parking garage. So I believe that making this, or the whole entire architectural team, and even with our pre 